Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the Build a Booth Monster Add-ons assembly video from Jada Blossom. Hey, so I'm using Build a Booth Monster Add-ons along with our Build a Booth die and I'm going to quickly put these together. So first I'm starting out with some Echo Park um, Monster Match Mash 12 inch matching solids. There we go. And I'm using the Monster Mash pad. I cut out the Build a Booth out of the Monster Mash solids in orange and then these little planks were cut out of pattern paper from the six inch pad from Monster Mash. And I'm just going to ink around the edges with some of this, um, you know, white pigment ink minus from close to my heart but any of them will do they're all this you know they're all roughly the same there we go now i cut the base or the main part of the pumpkin out of doodlebug's um, pumpkin cardstock there we go and then the the little centerpiece that was cut out of that same um, 12 inch matching solids for the monster mash from uh, from echo park and the little leaf is from that same Monster Mash six inch pad. This little stem is dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. So now I'm going to add my little planks on to my booth. So I'm just lining those up. So I have two large ones and one skinny one. The skinny one will kind of overlap the, the large ones. And remember, you can do this any way you'd like, right? This is just how I'm doing it this time. So I'm going to line up all my little wood planks. There we go. And then I'm going to have like this cool pumpkin topper for this Build-A-Booth. So I'm going to use a little bit of um, ATG tape. So I'm just trying to line this up. And of course I do end up ripping this up and moving it down a bit. You'll see in a minute. Yeah, I do, I do rip it off though in a minute. So I'm going to line up that center piece. There we are, and that is that same, the solids from Echo Park, and you see that I ripped it up and I'm moving it down a little bit. You want those two corners to be below the, the plank that covers you know, the top of it, if you know what I mean. And now I'm going to add my little dark chocolate stem on top. There we go. And then that little leaf is cut out of that monster or Echo Park Monster Mash six inch pad, along with this little swirly piece, little vine curl. I'll be adding that on as well with my Barely Art glue. All my die cutting today was done with my um, Anna, um, Anna Griffin Mini Empress, which I'm loving. So the little pumpkin face is cut out of black paper tray and cardstock, and I'm going to add that to the bottom of the booth. Now you could put it on the top of the booth if you really wanted to. This is just how Jada Blossom kind of envisioned it, but remember you can use these pieces however you like. There's no rules in paper crafting. And there we go, isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. So now I'm going to put together this little Frankie booth and that was cut out of that same Echo Park 12 inch matching solids, that green. There we go. And I'm going to line up the top. So that's going to be his little face. And then the hair that's cut out of paper tray and black cardstock. And I'm just using some glue from Barely Art. There we go. And I'll line that up. And then the planks were cut out of pattern paper from the Echo Park Monster Mash six inch pad. And I'm just going to stick those down. So you'll see with this one, I have a large plank and I've got a skinny plank and then I've got two little short planks. So I'll put the large one on the bottom, the skinny one on the top, and then the other two, I will overlap in the center where the nail heads are. Now, remember, um, you could ink around the edges of this if you wanted to, but I wanted to leave one plain so you could see how it looks plain and the other two are inked. There we go. Kind of fun, right? Okay, so next I'm going to put together the little eyeballs that's cut out of paper tray ink white cardstock and black cardstock. And I'm just going to use my reverse tweezers and some Barely Art glue to kind of stick those pupils down on those little white eyeballs. I'm gonna have them kind of cross-eyed because that makes it a little bit more fun and less scary, right? There we go. Isn't that cute? And then um, I will sort of glue those down. Now, remember, this is not, you don't have to glue them down where I glue them. This is just how they sort of saw it when they created it, right? You can put them wherever you'd like. Okay, so now I have the two little um, screws or bolts or whatever you wanna call it. Those are cut out of American Crafts silver foil cardstock, and I'm going to slip those in. And I'll be slipping them underneath this little face kind of in between. There we go, it's kind of fun, right? 
And then I cut all the little teeth out of Paper Trank white cardstock, and I'm just going to line those up using Barely Art glue and my reverse tweezers. And as I said before, you can put these teeth wherever you'd like. These are just how they saw them going. But like I said, you could have a mouthful of teeth for if you wanted, right? There he is. Isn't he cute? So cute. So he could go on a card front if you want. Just that. Or you could, you know, add a gnome in there peeking out. Whatever you want. Okay, next I'm putting together the purple that was cut out of uh, the solids, the 12-inch matching solids of Echo Park. And then the pattern paper is from Echo Park Monster Mash 6-inch. And I'm using Distress Oxide Ink and Black Soot. And I'm just inking around the edges of these pieces just for an alternate look. Right? There we go. The topper of this little monster... Um, you know, monster booth was cut out of Doodlebug's, um, what is it called? Doodlebug's Orchid cardstock. So it's got a little bit of a pattern. And I'm just inking around the edges as well. There we go. So it sort of goes. I made his hands out of the same thing, that Echo or that Doodlebug um, Orchid. There. And then I'm going to assemble my little booth. So first I'll stick down all my little planks. And this time I have small planks and I'm just going to run them all vertically. So I cut two at a time, right? And I kind of just alternate the, you know, which way they go because each end is a little bit different. Like one end's a little rougher than the other. Just think it makes it look a lot, lot better if you alternate. And... Once I fill in all the space, I'm going to add that last skinny um, little plank, and I'm going to have that kind of running across the whole thing on the bottom, just for a little bit of fun. Remember, you can put these planks however you like to. There we go. And then I'll add my little last one on, and I will stick that down kind of on an angle, right? You could add little brads to this if you'd like. Now I'm going to glue down the top of my little monster to the top of my booth using that Barely Art glue. But first I'm going to stick the teeth down, cut it a paper drink white cardstock. There we go, kind of forgot to do that first. That would have been a boo-boo. And then I'm just going to line that up. And isn't that fun? So now he's like a little monster. And I'm going to add his little horns. I'm gonna slip that underneath the uh, little monster there, underneath, underneath the little face. There we go. So I'm just sticking that down. And I'll do the other side, trying to keep them even, right? There we go. And like I said, this is a little monster. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, this is my mistake. Don't do this. These are meant for the little eyes. I don't know what I was thinking. So ignore this part. I left my boo-boo in so you could see where I went wrong. These little pieces aren't horns. They're for the little eyes. Okay, so first of all, you could make a little eye um, for the center, kind of make them a cyclops. That's paper trank white cardstock and black cardstock. There. He's got his little hair. That's cut out of paper trank black cardstock as well. So I'm sticking that in. And then he can be a little cyclops, right? We can add his little hands on. I will pop those up with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals because why not? How cute is that? And remember, this could go on a card right by, just by itself, right? Or you can add these other little eyes, so optional eyes. So these ones are kind of like squinty eyes, right? Same thing, paper trank, white and black cardstock using my Barely Art glue. And you'll line them up. Of course, I got to figure out which way they go. And there we go. Get them lined up. And then I'll do the other one. And then we will be set. So I'm just going to stick that down there. And there. So we can have kind of mean eyes, right? Or we can have kind of goofy cyclops. And then there we go. So we got all three of these adorable build a booth monster add-ons. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, be inspired by the team. To the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on this amazing release. Thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you are a follower over at the Jada Blossom YouTube site and the Leanne K YouTube site. Thanks everybody. Bye.